Well, guys, the most important thing to the socialist Democrats is to violate your constitutional rights. The left, when it comes to these uh, these uh, school shootings that happen or any type of mass shooting. They say the same thing each and every time they believe that the gun is the problem. Now, I said it before, guys, we actually have a people problem. A people problem. It's not the guns. Guns just don't automatically shoot themselves. I actually have a gun in my home. Guess what? It it has never went off by itself. It actually takes a human to actually take the gun out the case and pull the trigger. Now, I do believe in the Second Amendment, but the uh, the socialists and communists of the Democrat Party want them all banned. They want them all banned. So this actually brings us back to uh, the Nashville uh, school shooting. Interesting, guys. This is Sunday when I'm recording this video, April 9th, and we still do not have the manifesto. We've been waiting for a bit here. We still do not have that manifesto. What is going on? What is the holdup here? I'm very, very curious about that, guys. But we're going to be talking about uh, Kamala Harris here in this video because Kamala Harris decided to make a trip to Tennessee. But it had nothing to do with the uh, the six Christians that were killed because we know that um these communist Democrats don't care about Christians. Today is actually Easter, guys, and uh, Jesus has risen today. He is risen. Kamala Harris, though, completely ignores Christians. I am stunned by this, but I'm not surprised. I'm not. Kamala Harris actually was in Tennessee to actually uh, meet up with um, the what they're calling the Tennessee Three, uh, two of the uh, Socialist Democrats in the uh, Tennessee House actually got uh, kicked out. They got voted out. Republicans actually grew a pair and kicked these guys out because they were leading an insurrection at the Capitol. Yeah, I'm using their words. They got kicked out. And naturally, of course, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, you know, they're going to go out there and attack Republicans for this. Yeah, they actually did that. But uh, you can see right here on the. Um, the post millennial. Kamala Harris visits Tennessee to stand with gun control activists while snubbing victims of trans mass murder. Guys, we're not hearing anything, by the way, in the media about the uh, the woman, the transgender person that actually shot and killed six Christians. Once that transgender thing kind of got out there, the media tried to start spinning it. They were all saying we stand with the trans community. But none of them actually said we stand with Christians. None of them did. That's disgusting, guys. This is America. We're supposed to be a majority Christian country. I understand that you actually do have freedom of religion here. But for the White House to completely ignore the Christians that died and pretty much try to blame uh, Christianity on this. It's disgusting. It is disgusting. Now, these are uh, these two communists. They got voted out in Tennessee. They were actually um one of them was, was actually uh, spewing uh, blasphemy. Yeah. Trying to make you think that Jesus was down with the um the alphabet stuff. When we know that is not the case. But you know what? He's not the only one. I'm also going to blame um, TV pastors as well, because these TV pastors, they're in it for one thing. They're in they're in it for the money. They don't want to actually preach the Bible because they don't want to offend people. They don't want to be canceled. They want the money to keep rolling in. It's disgusting. But let's go ahead and uh, read some of this here, guys. Kamala Harris took a trip to Nashville on Friday, but it wasn't to meet with the families who lost children and loved ones as a result of the horrific mass shooting carried out by a trans identified school shooter last week. Instead, 
she was there to console those Democrat lawmakers who were expelled from the state legislature on Friday for having disrupted House proceedings and protested the body in which they were supposed to be serving. Yeah. Two of those guys actually grabbed the bullhorn and they were actively participating in the insurrection. Now, the only reason why the other lady wasn't actually voted out and uh, ironically, she's actually a white lady here. Um, the mainstream media is trying to play the race card here. Now, if you actually did watch the clip, you can actually see uh, the two uh, black communists actually uh, grabbing the bullhorn. And she's just kind of there on the side. She wasn't as involved as they were. They were actually more active in disrupting the house. That's why they got kicked out. Now, she came close. Now, the media wants you to think that all these Republicans just just voted to leave her in. No, she survived by one vote, one vote. And she actually should have um probably been uh, voted out. But the reason why she actually survived is that she wasn't as active as the other guys were. Yeah. But she did go on um, the mainstream media, I believe, CNN or something like that and say that um, the only reason why she wasn't voted out is because she's white. That's not the case. That's not the case whatsoever. But I digress. This is what Kamala Harris actually put out here. She puts out today, I stood with parents, students, and the Tennessee Three. They won't be silenced and their demands for gun reform must be heard. In Congress and in state legislatures around our nation, leaders must have the courage to act. Now, the thing is, the last mass shooting, they actually already had gun reform, right? You even had sellout Republicans actually vote on this. Like John Cornyn from right out here in Houston. But it's not enough because the ultimate goal, folks, is to disarm you. We actually had a Friday member stream. And I highly recommend that you guys, um, if you would like to support us, click the join button today. Become a channel member. Get access to those Friday live streams because they are uncensored. Or visit blackandwhitenetwork.com. Become a member over there. On the website, and if you become a silver member, you actually get to be on the live stream with me and Rhodes talking about these kind of things. It's not on YouTube. Um, we don't want the censors. So it's not on YouTube. But if you do become a member, there will be a link posted in the member section here on YouTube or on the website. So you can actually have access to the stream. But anyway, they will not be satisfied until they disarm you. Now, on that Friday live stream, we had um, with the members. That was actually a video we actually played of a, um, a sheriff in Florida. And they actually arrested some um, some young people that had access to guns. I believe they actually uh, shot some people, if I'm not mistaken. And the media asked, well, how did they actually uh, get these weapons? They got these weapons through illegal means. And they actually stole the weapons. They stole the weapons. So they weren't out there just buying them legally. They stole it from law abiding citizens because these kids were criminals. Criminals don't follow law. There was no gun law whatsoever that would have stopped what happened in Florida. But Kamala Harris out there and her communists are uh, pushing for, quote unquote, gun reform. No, they want to take all of your weapons to keep you unsafe. While at the same time, I find it interesting, guys, on uh, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. They always have armed security wherever they go, wherever they go, they have armed security, but they don't want you to be armed. Because anytime it actually comes to these quote unquote gun reform laws, the only people that it affects is you, the law 
law-abiding citizen. That's it. You're the only people affected by this. All those people that were storming the Capitol, if it came down to it and they needed to defend themselves, if they got their way, they wouldn't be able to defend themselves. Because I don't care what law you pass. If one of these deranged people wants an AK-47, they're going to get it. Now, the question is, if they point their gun at you, are you going to be able to defend yourself? But Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, the socialists, the communists, they don't care. They don't care. They just want your guns to go away. While at the same time, they still have their armed security, by the way. Yeah. Joe Biden is always going to be surrounded by armed security. So is Kamala Harris. And so is these other um, socialist Democrats out there spending hundreds of thousands of dollars a year on armed security. Cori Bush. If I'm not mistaken, I believe she has spent something like uh, seventy thousand dollars on armed security. AOC has it. All of them have it. These people don't care about you. They care about their own safety. And every time something bad happens, they scream gun reform, gun reform. We need to take away the guns. When it absolutely does nothing. Nothing at all. But uh, Kamala Harris is actually getting uh, she getting blasted for this uh, tweet right here because same time she completely ignores the Tennessee sits. And actually, if we go back over here first, let's see here. Actually, yeah, James Lindsay. Right here, he he tweets out. They're pushing the Tennessee three. So we all forget about the Nashville sits and why any of this is happening at all. Remember the Nashville sits. Yeah, because Kamala Harris was pushing the uh, Tennessee three. But completely ignores Nashville sits, because if if this truly, truly was being put out there by the media. These Christians were shot and killed by a transgender. And of course. They're out there backing the transgenders out there. When I just did another video the other day. Where police actually arrested. Another transgender person that was actually plotting to commit mass murder on schools and Christians. And they actually had a communist manifesto. The media ignored that. So they don't really want you to focus on these people right here. Including this uh, black man right there that lost his life. But I thought we were told uh, Black Lives Matter. The black man was actually killed by a white person. And Kamala Harris completely ignores it. Beijing Biden, same way, completely ignores it. But look here. Kamala Harris is actually getting blasted. For this right here. And that's the uh, two uh, communists over here that got kicked out. That's another one right there. She is the one that actually um, survived. Um, and she's Kamala Harris is right there in the middle. Yeah, despicable. And the one on the, on the right, man, he wants to be like a knockoff Martin Luther King. Changing his voice and everything to sound like um, a 1960s civil rights leader. Yeah. These people are communists, man. They're communists. Look at this tweet right here. From uh, John Hawkins. You made a bit point of standing with politicians, uh, gun, gun grabbers, and the trans community. You sure didn't stand with the Christians that were murdered, though. We notice. Absolutely. Absolutely. I completely agree with that. That Kamala Harris doesn't care about Christians at all. A mass shooting of Christians. And the White House doesn't back the Christians. They're backing the trans community. Repulsive. Look here. Jim Stinson. Did you meet with the families of the victims of the shooting? No. Of course not. Of course not. Kamala Harris does not care about the families of these Christians. 
Don't care. Look here. Today you stood with insurrectionists, not the victims of the horrible terrorist attack. Nope. Of course not. Which is not a surprise to anybody. They are insurrectionists. Your rules. Yep. Because I heard like when you actually go to a Capitol and you go in and you're protesting. I heard that's an insurrection. That's what the left said, right? That is what the left said. Look here. Ban career politicians. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely need uh, term limits here. Definitely need term limits. But um, we'll have to see if that ever does happen. I don't know. A lot of these people do love being career politicians. They do. Wow. But Kamala Harris, man. Backing politicians. Who actually led the charge of um, protesters storming into the building. They were inciting this insurrection. But Kamala Harris is standing with them. She is standing with them. She's out there trying to push to have your constitutional rights violated. Kamala Harris is on a job approval rating. Is actually worse than Beijing Biden. So when it comes to uh, 2024, there's no way that they're actually going to push her. To be the nominee. A lot of um, Democrat voters don't even want Beijing Biden to run again. They know that this administration is a disaster. Now, will they actually go out there and punch the ticket for them again? A lot of these people will. A lot of these people will. I'm just being real. They shouldn't. But some of these people that um, vote, a lot of these people actually that vote Democrat. They just have it programmed into their brains. I must vote. Democrat. I must vote Democrat. What do they say? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Yeah. But apparently, you know. Joe Biden's good, right? Yeah, you people that vote for Joe Biden, you you guys like the state of this country right now? No, I thought not. What's that? Oh, you're still going to go out and vote for him. Okay. Insanity. That's exactly what this is, guys. Kamala Harris ignores the families of uh, dead Christians. Same city, by the way. Nashville. Same city. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe like two of the funerals were like the same day. Kamala Harris didn't show up. Didn't show up. Beijing Biden sent no representation whatsoever to stand with the Christians. But this man supposedly believes in God. No, he believes in love. He just shows up the mass. Just because he just wants to show up. These people aren't Christians. They despise Christianity. They despise Bible believing Christians. They don't like you. They don't like you at all. So why would you actually go out there and cast your vote for these people that just don't care about dead Christians? They've said nothing, I believe, about the um, the transgender that was actually stopped by the police. They said nothing at all. They're just out there trying to take away your constitutional rights. This is how the United States ends up becoming a communist country. America, you better wake up. You need to wake up. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Kamala Harris doesn't care about you. Don't vote for these people. These people need to go. They have shown their true colors. They're anti-American. They're anti-Second Amendment. They just want a virtue signal and they won't stop until they take away all of your guns. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. 
Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thank you.